Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler Adventures. I'm your host, Wally, and today we're going to another state historic site, the Casa Navarro State Historic Site in San Antonio. It's right in the middle of downtown. It's now open to the public again after some renovations in the area. The whole area right now is being renovated. It's building better parks and better structures and it's being connected all together to the other historic sites that are there in San Antonio. But this is the actual home of uh, Jose Antonio Navarro, who is one of the signers of the Texas Constitution. There's an awesome statue of his pleading with the masses. Now he was a signer of the Declaration of Independence at Washington and the Brazos. He was also a well-known leader in Texas at the time. He helped Stephen F. Austin settle uh, the first 300 families here in Texas. Here we have uh, his house and what it would probably have looked like back then during those times. As you can see, it's made out of stucco, a lot of homemade furniture and pottery. You sort of get an idea of what it was like to live back then. Look at that roof. While walking around, you can see some artifacts like loteria and chess boards, checkerboards and map of old San Antonio and where the house used to be. There it is. The grounds are pretty big. Um, we have several structures there that have interpretive um, exhibits. There's the well or cist, no it's the well, where they used to get water from. Most of the houses had their own well so they wouldn't have to walk all the way down to the river. There's an example of what a garden would look like. They would have to grow their own herbs and spices and vegetables and such. It's another table. Those are the wooden blocks that they would use to make their adobe. And then they would cover it with caliche, a mixture of caliche and um, cactus. They would mash it up together to they use the juice of the cactus in order to coat the buildings. Here we have more of the house. There's a cistern. Once you go inside, thankfully it's air conditioned, but you can see a bit more of the furniture some interactive exhibits. There is Navarro looking at us, happy that we have continued his legacy. Now he ran into a little bit of trouble back when they were trying to kick out all the native Tejanos and go over to just the Anglos being in charge. But he fought tooth and nail and he had the help of Stephen F. Austin, who he was very good friends with, in order to try to get uh, the Tejanos their rights, their rights to their property, to their land, um, their houses, and everything, so that they could be treated fairly. So he was a hero in that regards. Like I said, he was a signer of the Constitution, he was a leader during the Revolution, and he helped the native Tejanos maintain their influence. Anyways, thank you for listening. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.